Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back. The Bible Bistro is open for business. We're back in the main dining hall today of the Bible Bistro. This is Daily Dose Radio, your home for five-minute Five-day week Bible study. Come on in, sit down. Let's enjoy some fresh and delicious, organic and responsibly handled Bible study today. We're looking at Psalm 20 this week, and we're going to be looking at today verses 1 and 2. Psalm 20 begins with these words, of the choir master, a psalm of David. So choir master's back, pretty much, I think exactly, as a matter of fact, the same language that we had last time when we looked at the uh, the introduction to the psalm. Choir master is back at work, and he's giving us another psalm of David. But this one is less a prayer and more of a congregational, how do I put that? This is a responsive, when they were worshiping the Lord, this would have been read, perhaps chanted. Uh, there's could be um, antiphonal use here because we have two different persons in this psalm, so we'll talk about that as we go through it. Let me just go ahead and read for you my translation of verses 1 and 2. The Lord will answer you in a day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob will set you securely on high. He will send you help from the sanctuary, and from Zion he will support you. You notice how generic this is. Arthur Weiser, in his commentary on the psalms, says about this particular psalm that it's colorless. And I can understand that. I don't like the language colorless for a psalm because I think there's so much color in every one. But he's right in a sense because this is very, it's bland. Maybe we should use the word bland here uh, in, in a sense. Now, there's if you dig deeper than what you have just on the surface, you'll find a great deal of treasure in this particular mine. But looking at just at this verse, the Lord will answer you. Some of your translations will say, may the Lord answer you. The Lord answers you or the Lord hears you. This is another way to translate this. The Lord answers on a day of trouble. So kind of, kind of generic in a sense. Don't know what day of trouble we're talking about. This is just being spoken to someone. Notice the predominance of the second person. We have it in verses 1 through 4. In every single line of text, the second person predominates. The Lord will answer you. In the name of the God of Jacob, he will set you securely on high. He will send you help from the sanctuary, from Zion. He will support you. That's why I say this is congregational, perhaps antiphonal, because this first, these first four verses probably being spoken by the priest as he's engaging the people in worship and then verses 5 through 9, we have what, what could be the, uh, the people responding. So this is a call and response kind of piece. The priests speaking verses 1 through 4, the people speaking 5 through 9. And, I mean, you know what? This would work even today as a piece for our worship. The, the minister could read verses 1 through 4, and the people could repeat one, uh, 5 through 9, or it could be, you know, sort of uh, responsive, the priest or the or the pastor reading one through four, and then everybody all together reading five through nine, because the we predominates. That first person plural predominates there in five through nine. So it's a beautiful piece. And notice the Lord is answering. The Lord is setting securely on height. That some will have defend. That's good too. He will set. He will send you help from the sanctuary. Where else do you want the help to come from? You see, men often look to the treasury, as Spurgeon says. They look to the armory. They look to the winery, but they don't look to the sanctuary. And that's where we need to be looking for help. The Lord will send you help from the sanctuary. If you're looking other places, friend, you're not looking in the right place. That's just the fact. And he's going to come from Zion and support you. This comes over, this word support you comes over from Psalm 18, So we have this language there, too. He puts his hand under your head, and he supports you. Yes, the Lord, the God of Jacob, the Lord of all, the creator of heaven and earth, is the one who will support you. 
Come again tomorrow, and in the Bible Bistro, we'll be dining on verses 3 and 4, so join me then on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.